Does it? OK, so we are now recording the, the meeting. So here uh, there is the agenda of, uh, of our meeting today. So I will give you a first introduction uh, of the uh, new covenant of mayor's objective and of the on why we are having this session today. But then I will uh, happily give uh, the word to our guest speaker, Angwe Konstantino Beremliski from the Conference on the Future of Europe Common Secretariat, who will really guide us through the process of the Conference on the Future of Europe, which will be gathering bottom-up inputs and contributions from all citizens in Europe this year, and to understand how can our cities, coordinators and supporters in the Covenant of Mayors community engage uh, in this very important process. Uh, and then after that, as I announced earlier, we will have some time for, uh, for Q&A uh, with our guest speaker. So just very briefly, uh, I, will, uh, I, I would really like to give this um, presentation on the new ambition of the Covenant of Mayors and take this opportunity because that's a very important uh, phase of the initiative we, uh, we just entered in uh, later uh, this year in, um, in April. So the Covenant of Mayors this year has launched a new phase to step up action for a fairer and climate neutral Europe. Uh, you will see here on this slide a bit of the history of the Covenant that I'm sure you know already very well, uh, but also the evolution of the commitments that signatories have taken uh, since the launch of the initiative in 2008. So it really started. Oops, I think I got a notification. OK, now I, I, I have back the control of the presentation. Um, so it started in 2008, uh, supporting cities to achieve the objectives of reducing their emissions by 20% uh, by 2020. It then integrated a, a pillar on adaptation that was first launched as a separate initiative in 2014, Mayors Adapt, then integrated into the Covenant in 2015, also taking new uh, climate mitigation objectives. Um, at the time. So cities since 2015 have engaged to reduce their emissions by 40% uh, by 2030, uh, working on climate adaptation and also working to alleviate energy poverty. And now in 2021, 20, uh, after we also opened the, um, we also contributed to the launch of regional covenants supporting cities on the model of the covenant through the global covenant of mayors. So in other regions of the world since 2016, this year, uh, we upgraded, upgraded the commitment of the initiative with a new ambition to uh, support cities becoming climate neutral in uh, 2050. And why did we decide to, uh, to raise the ambitions of the initiative? It was really um, a process to align the covenant of mayors with the increased ambition of the European Union to achieve the Paris Agreement. So really aligning with the objectives of the European Green Deal to better connect the covenant with other city level initiatives, uh, helping cities um, pioneer uh, the transition, climate and energy transition at the local level, but also to strengthen the position of the covenant as the movement uh, for local authorities leading uh, the change. And also to uh, then in the context of the post COVID recovery to help cities mobilize investments that could contribute to the recovery of Europe. Um, the way in which this new ambition was adopted, uh, you also have a link here, was uh, through a survey that we conducted last summer. Uh, we had 450 replies from cities and regions, uh, leading uh, and actually uh, showing how they would have wished the Covenant of Mayors to evolve to better support them in the transition. Uh, we had consultations with national and regional partners, and then the new commitment was endorsed by the Commissioner for Energy and discussed by the Covenant of Mayors political board, so some uh, cities representative of, uh, of, the, uh, of the initiative. And there are four key new elements in this new commitment. Uh, the first one is a shared vision of climate neutrality in 2050. Uh, the second one is a strong call to making climate an overarching priority, considering the climate emergency in European cities a commitment to ensuring a fair transition that leaves no one behind. So strengthening also this component of alleviation and energy poverty really leading to uh, a more comprehensive fair transition process. And uh, a call to set up local climate pacts with citizens and local stakeholders that will help signatories to achieve their own objectives. Uh, so these four key and new elements are summarized in these uh, two slides that you will also receive after this, uh, this webinar, of course. 
Uh, so those are really the uh, four new and important elements of the new commitment. And then in terms of targets, uh, what we are uh, meaning when we say uh, cities are committing now to climate neutrality by 2050 is that cities, signatories of the covenant, will adopt a target reduction uh, of greenhouse gas reductions by 80% by 2050. So that is the long-term climate neutrality ambition. Uh, and aligning with the new climate law objective, so the new European Union headline objective for 2030 of 55%, we are encouraging cities to set intermediate targets between now and 2050 to achieve that ambition. So we are encouraging signatories to adopt uh, the 55% target by 2030. But of course, knowing that every member state and region and city have their own path to the climate and energy transition. Um, in 2022, we will have minimum targets uh, per countries, national targets that will be then aligning with these, uh, these different pathways, uh, also accounting for the diversity of the covenant community. And then here on this slide is just to really uh, share with you all the links. Uh, so the new commitment document, the annexes and so on, our new FAQs, if you have more technical questions on what is changing exactly for you. And also materials and recording from our launch event uh, on the 21st of April. You will receive it, but you can also already click on the links uh, now. And the last point is that we will have a Covenant of Mayors ceremony. So a big political event uh, for this year in October. Uh, and we'll get back to you with more information uh, soon. Uh, and I think this uh, also creates a kind of a good connection with uh, the, uh, the core actually of this meeting. So the presentation of the um, how cities and regions can engage in the covenant, uh, sorry, in the conference on the future of Europe process. Uh, also because these uh, you can see on these slides, we are aiming at mobilizing the community also with decentralized events uh, and really help uh, mobilize uh, cities all over Europe on the new Covenant of Mayors commitment. But it's also something uh, very important on which we will link uh, with the conference, which is really an overarching process that is going on uh, this year. And uh, our colleague from the Common Secretariat, Angel Beremliski, will uh, just tell us more about. So I'm really happy to give him the floor now. Uh, to really enter into the core of our presentation. Many thanks, Eugenia, and uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I'm just about to put my presentation on. Hopefully it will work. Um, first of all, let me say how uh, happy I am to be with you uh, today um, and to present uh, to you uh, what we are doing. Uh, uh, do you see the presentation? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Now it is full screen. Yes, it's full, screen. Is full screen. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so with the, the due the due technical uh, <laughs> aspects of uh, preparation. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to be with you uh, today and to present uh, to you what uh, uh, the Conference on the Future of Europe is. It's, as Eugenia already said, it is an important endeavor. Uh, in, in, um, in many ways, it's also something unprecedented, uh, never tried before at, uh, at EU level uh, or any, at any Euro regional level and uh, behind which we have uh, the three main institutions of the EU and all of you, because uh, this conference will only succeed if we have uh, a genuine, meaningful and true mobilization, uh, a bottom-up mobilization of all the, the communities and all citizens of, uh, of Europe to, to uh, basically uh, present their their vision about the future and to shape uh, the future of EU policies. So, uh, as as I say, the conference is an opportunity. It's a, an opportunity for uh, for us all, uh, each and every one uh, of us, to contribute with own with their own proposals, with their own ideas, and through the mobilization of their respective communities through the so-called uh, uh, decentralized events. 
It's a, a truly bottom-up exercise. Uh, that means that citizens, civil society, local uh, communities are really put at the center in the center of the uh, of the uh, the deliberations of the the discussions around the the, 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 the topics and around the the future challenges and solutions that the EU will need uh, for for the for the years to come. Uh, it also uses an innovative approach uh, in the way uh, we have, uh, um, let's say, um, uh, adopted some of the uh, the civic tech tools, the most advanced civic tech tools that exist, uh, uh, and trying them uh, and deploying them at at the EU level. Uh, in, those are in particular the platform, the, uh, the the digital platform, which I will present very briefly also with a live presentation and also the citizen panels which is uh, uh, an experiment which is uh, we, 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 for the first time will be staged uh, at such a on a such a scale uh, there are three elements that are uh, really important uh, for and central to the to the to the whole process uh, those are inclusiveness openness and transparency Everything that happens, everything that is discussed, everything that is uh, proposed uh, for the purpose of the conference is uh, available, is uh, publicly uh, uh, downloadable through the platform. This is uh, something very, very important. And the ambition is really to uh, to reach out to uh, every corner, every territory, every city uh, and every region of the, of the European Union and not only the European Union in order to ensure really uh, a, a wide debate as wide as possible and representativity of the uh, of the outcome of this debate. Uh, that's why one of the central challenges also uh, part of the, of the of the difficulties of this process is to go beyond uh, those are that are those are uh, that are uh, let's say uh, uh, more exposed to to, to 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 the debate or interested in the, in the debates around the EU uh, affairs or European uh, European affairs in general, and to really uh, uh, to really involve uh, the the uh, the let's say the, the wide 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 part, parts uh, large parts of the of the population uh, of every walk of life. Uh, and every every uh, generation group uh, in the in this debate. Uh, another important element is that there is no predetermined outcome of the, the discussions, which means that um, uh, nothing is excluded uh, from from the outcome uh, a priori. Because uh, in order to be a truly participatory process, uh, one should not put any boundaries uh, since the very the very beginning and that's why the 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 way the platform as you will see is organized uh, all the different levels of the conference and milestones of the conference are actually open to uh, the what what the discussion will show what the what the input from 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 uh, from the different from the different participants citizens uh, and communities will uh, will um, um, we'll we'll uh, point to what concerns us most, and where uh, the let's say the most uh, one of the most important uh, and cross-cutting elements is of course sustainability, uh, sustainability of our future, sustainability of our activities, sustainability of our uh, living together, and uh, and you will see easily going through the different uh, themes and and uh, sub themes that are uh, explained to the platform that. Sustainability, both in terms of uh, uh, climate uh, um, mitigation and adaptation, but also more broadly in uh, uh, terms of uh, circular economy, uh, uh, sustainable mobility, uh, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are very much at the heart of the, the deliberations and very much at the heart of the the real challenges uh, the EU uh, is facing. Uh, not by chance, when we uh, started the whole process uh, back in March. Uh, there was a, a, a survey, uh, Eurobarometer survey, that was uh, published, and um, not surprisingly, I would say, climate change was clearly regarded as the main global challenge affecting the future of the EU, 
uh, on which the conference on the future of Europe uh, uh, would uh, would uh, have to uh, to deliberate. So this is uh, something that, uh, of course, uh, um, but the, the two elements, the, cen the central role of, uh, of uh, sustainability, uh, let's say, in, in the, the widest in the widest sense uh, and context, and uh, the, the truly bottom-up approach of this, uh, of this initiative uh, makes, uh, makes us believe and makes us uh, actually convince us that uh, uh, communities as yours, the, the Covenant of Mayor, some mayors with all the, 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 the local stakeholders, the local uh, co-signatories, and their, community, their respective communities are extremely important uh, to 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 bring in their their own uh, contribution based on their own experience and based and also uh, through their uh, uh, already very rich and very uh, dynamic activities on the ground with uh, with uh, uh, the citizens uh, and the civil society. The main milestones are, as I said, the multilingual digital platform which is the, the single uh, digital hub uh, and where all the information and all the, uh, the proposals, uh, ideas shared, uh, comments uh, made, and also events uh, under the umbrella of the conference are, are visible. Uh, the decentralized events are promote the, one, the ones promoted by the uh, by, by, the, by the citizens, by the civil society, by the local and, and regional authorities. Uh, they can be, of course, uh, uh, events that are already planned, but they have this participatory element and they uh, are naturally contributing to, uh, to the discussions about uh, the future of our policies or the future of our ambitions. And therefore, they would qualify uh, perfectly as being uh, uh, events contributing to the conference of the future of Europe. In that case, it's not only about visibility, the fact that uh, you are organizing, you or your communities are organizing events that can put the logo of the conference of the future of Europe. What matters uh, the most is that those events at the end would uh, report back to the platform and would with, with their own conclusions, with their own ideas. And those ideas, those conclusions, will be taken into account for the deliberations and for the final outcome of the conference. Then uh, you have, uh, we will have European citizen panels, one of which will be uh, focused on uh, climate change, uh, environment and health, a very important uh, citizen panels. It will start its deliberations uh, uh, in September. And uh, the citizen panels will be composed of uh, randomly selected citizens coming from uh, all over uh, Europe, from each and every uh, member state. It could be one of you, for instance, because uh, the, the selection will be really random and we will uh, just have to respect a certain criteria, like, for instance, a geographic region, gender, age, uh, socioeconomic background and level of education in order to ensure representativity of the, so the, the sociological the diversity of Europe. Uh, so uh, you 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 may uh, expect uh, uh, phone calls in the in the coming days to to be to be invited to to join one of those panels. Uh, it's not a threat, of course. It's it's an opportunity, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, and then we have the conference plenaries, where the uh, the deliberations and the input coming from the digital platform and the and the decentralized events. The uh, recommendations of the European citizen panels will be finally discussed with representatives of the institutions, European Parliament, uh, of course, uh, Commission and, uh, and uh, national governments, national parliaments, but also the representatives of the regional and, and local authorities. And uh, the plenary will then uh, present its own uh, report to the, to, the, uh, to the executive board, uh, which will be part of the uh, outcome of the conference together with the, the, the outcome of the multilingual platform uh, and the European citizen panels. This is more or less a timeline we are talking about. Uh, we were supposed to, the, the conference was supposed to last uh, for two years uh, due to COVID, due to the late start also uh, in, in institutional terms. 
uh, the conference will now last uh, uh, roughly one year. Uh, it started with the launch of the platform uh, on the 19th of April. Uh, by the way, uh, the Covenant of Mayors and the and its uh, uh, launch event of the new commitment was one of the first events, uh, by the way, under the, uh, the, the, the the auspices of the conference. And we were very happy to, to have really this good example of uh, bottom-up uh, uh, participatory approach and contribution to the to, the, to, this, to this joint discussion. Um, then we'll have, uh, as I said, the panels and the plenaries uh, starting uh, in June already. Uh, on the, the 17th and 19th of June, we'll have a first citizens events and and uh, uh, plenary. And then uh, the, the real deliberative sessions will uh, be in September, from September to, uh, to March. Uh, and then the outcome of the conference, uh, together with all the input of the platform uh, and the citizen, the citizen panels, will be uh, delivered to the three institutions uh, in spring uh, 2022. Now, as really the the the, the, the pulsing heart and uh, and the engine of of uh, the whole process. Uh, I would like to to briefly present to you the, the the platform. As I said, the platform is an essential tool to uh, to make your voice heard and to uh, to play really a central role in the deliberations. Uh, this platform, uh, by the way, is, is very user friendly and interactive. Uh, it uses uh, a civic tech uh, uh, open source software which has been developed for this uh, exactly this purpose. This, uh, uh, yeah. From this uh, uh, purpose, exactly, which is Decidim, by the way, it was developed by, by a local authority, uh, the, the municipality of Barcelona. Uh, so it allows really a very intuitive um, navigation and um, uh, uh, basically consists of uh, uh, possibility of uh, sharing uh, uh, your own ideas, uh, commenting and endorsing the, uh, the ideas shared by other participants, and uh, organizing uh, your your event uh, directly. Now I will switch uh, back to uh, uh, my uh, to to teams, and I will, will try to briefly uh, guide you through, uh, and we'll do it in a live mode through the platform uh, itself to show you how to do uh, the different uh, how how it's these different functionalities uh, work just bear with me for a second and there it is i hope uh, you now see uh, something more uh, uh, dynamic than than just a slide so this is the the home page of the of the platform uh with with the with the banner then uh, oh you see first of all a bit more generate general information about the conference it's uh, deliverables uh, the outcome and the feedback mechanism then uh, the the three main functions uh, are here attend an event near you share your ideas and organize your event and then the topics the there are nine topics uh, which are uh, specifically uh, identified. Uh, they were already uh, anticipated in the joint declaration, which was uh, signed in um, in March. And um, and the ten topic, of course, in case uh, um, there are ideas that are, that do not necessarily fit uh, uh, under under the the one of the nine proposed, uh, can be put under this uh, tenth topic, which is other ideas. Then, uh, in order to share your idea, what you need to do is uh, uh, go under share your idea, pick the the topic. You already see that it is one of the most popular uh, ones: is climate change. Uh, once again, no surprise about that. Uh, so uh, let me see if uh, it's a bit too late. It uh, has a delayed uh, reaction. So share an idea. This here you you uh, let's say you, you get a, a more general information about what the this topic is about. In the in your case, it's not uh, it's not necessary, of course. If we are under 
climate change and environment. We, we you can see what the number of uh, already shared ideas are, and uh, uh, the the you can you can also consult them uh, individually and see what level of uh, of uh, engagement they have already uh, um, generated in terms of. Uh, uh, comments in terms of endorsements, uh, discussions, and so on and so, and so forth. Uh, and then in order to share your own idea, you just access a simple um, a simple uh, form, e-form, where you can basically uh, put a title, a body, uh, where you describe the, your idea. You can identify the, the, the subcategory, uh, then attach um, uh, uh, an image and and then post it. And once it is uh, it is uh, let's say approved by by the author, it it goes direct in the platform. There is no uh, filtering. There is a moderation, of course, because and it's an ex post moderation in case there are uh, offensive content uh, or uh, uh, content that is not entirely uh, in line with the charter of the uh, and the fundamental values of of, of the EU. But uh, this is, uh, uh, let's say, done ex post. Every uh, in the in the moment you you click on submit, your idea appear on the platform. And then uh, when it comes to events, uh, the the process uh, the procedure is is uh, is uh, almost the same. First of all, you can access uh, the, the the already existing ones uh, to to uh, to identify them on the map or consult them according to the to the category or to the to specific keywords. And then you can also propose your own event with the title, a short description. Uh, the type, of course, of uh, event, if it's uh, in person, online, or both, the location, and the information regarding the uh, the registration. Uh, once it is uh, created, the event uh, uh, appears immediately on the on the platform. There is no uh, process of validation or approval done by the by the administrator of the platform. Um, the, once the, the 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 event has taken place, then uh, the organizers uh, have to report back, and there, th th this you can, can can be done directly through this uh, form. So accessing your already created event, there will be uh, um, um, button uh, close the event, uh, which will basically allow you to create a, a short report and to uh, identify the key recommendations, the key ideas that have come out of the uh, of the event. What uh, we also have put on the on the um, platform, because we realize that it's no not uh, uh, always uh, so. Let's say uh, the, not not all of the the communities or all the organizers or citizens are are aware how to organize an event which is participatory. I'm sure it is not your case because you already have quite a lot of uh, of uh, participatory events and debates happening uh, in your in your cities. But uh, uh, in any case, we we have put here um, a, a set of um, uh, guides uh, on how to organize event, how to uh, uh, register it, how to make it uh, participatory, how to report back. Uh, together with the with the campaign materials that you can uh, you can use uh, for your events. So this is uh, more or less what uh, the platform uh, is about. Uh, last but not least, it is important that uh, of course, uh, in order to actively uh, participate and interact with the platform, uh, one needs to be uh, registered, and it uh, happens through the through the the the, the formerly known ECAS. Uh, now also known as EU uh, login uh, um, a system, which is uh, a login system used uh, by by the EU institutions, and it is very straightforward. So in case you don't, you're not familiar with it, or you don't have uh, uh, an account, uh, uh, EU login account uh, created yet, you can do it in really uh, literally uh, 30 seconds uh, through the uh, login. Uh, through the login section. So this is uh, uh, 
the, uh, the more or less the platform. Uh, and let me briefly go back to uh, just to the final slide of my presentation uh, to conclude and to uh, leave the space for for questions, which I hope will be uh, many on your side. Now. Since I, uh, I don't know if, uh, yeah. since I already presented to you live what how the the events are, are registered uh, and uh, uh, and your ideas can can be shared. Just a, a final word about what happens with with the ideas and the uh, the input coming from from the decentralized events and also from the other from the other. Um, levels of, uh, of debate and uh, deliberations throughout the conference. This is this uh, uh, not so uh, readable uh, um, scheme uh, uh, diagram represents what the the process is actually. So uh, we have the three P's at the heart of uh, of the conference or so the digital platform, the European Citizen Panels, and the conference plenary. The digital platform uh, feeds into uh, the, the European citizen panel, so everything that is debated, discussed, uh, deliberated, endorsed uh, uh, through the digital platform uh, is uh, submitted to the European citizen panels for, for discussions and recommendations, and also to the conference plenary afterwards. Uh, on this basis, the conference plenary makes the conclusions, and uh, finally, uh, all the three elements come together into the report on the final outcome of the conference, where you will see the concrete recommendations coming from the citizens and proposals to the joint presidency. The joint presidency is uh, no, nothing less than the three presidents of the three institutions who, uh, in their joint declaration signed in March at the start of the conference, Already committed uh, uh, formally and officially to follow up to following up on on the uh, on the, the recommendations coming from from the conference. Uh, Pre Vice President Chevchovic, for instance, uh, already announced that uh, publicly announced that uh, the outcome, the report on the outcome of the conference will be used uh, for the next two uh, work programs of the Commission uh, for for the last two years of the mandate. So it is really. Uh, a bottom-up uh, exercise, but it, it has also its uh, its uh, ambitious but uh, uh, realistic objective to uh, to become uh, to transform actually the the ideas uh, uh, coming from from uh, from all the different types of uh, consultation and, and deliberation, and to transform transform them into concrete decision-making steps. Uh, in the in the in the months to come soon after the conference, that's it from uh, from from my side. Uh, it's it's a it was a bit long. Sorry 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 for that. But uh, I wanted to also to touch upon the the many different aspects, uh, and I hope it was it was important for you to to understand a bit the the overall picture. And I'm happy to to address any specific questions you might have. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Angul, for the presentation. And it was not long. I think it was very interesting. Uh, and also, you, you gave us a lot of uh, uh, of things to uh, to just reflect on uh, different elements. I just wanted to start by saying that you might have seen I was busy at some point because I have been informed that some participants were not able to access uh, mm. with the link. So I shared again the link. That's why we have had uh, more people coming in during the presentation. So for all of you who missed the first part, uh, you will have access to the recording. So uh, no worries if there are things that you, you couldn't. And to my to, presentation. Uh, yes, of course, and to the presentation oh. as well. Yeah. Yes. Um, so to kickstart now the Q&A, um, I, I would really welcome you to use the raise the hand function if you want. It's uh, above in the panel just next to the chat or write to your questions uh, in the chat box here. Uh, maybe we can just start uh, this, uh, this block of the agenda, uh, taking up a comment from uh, Jose Diaz that uh, uh, we see in the chat. Uh, he said that 
it's true that the future is in our hands, as the slogan of the conference says. Uh, but we must have time, especially in, work, in little municipalities, to think about how involving citizens uh, and people, and then how to effectively contribute to the process. Uh, so maybe that can be one of the first uh, things to address. You mentioned, Angel, that there are uh, guidelines and tools on how to organize events. Is there any other kind of support or, or inspiration, for example, of methodologies for engagement that are available to, to cities that want to engage in the process? Well, uh... Uh, once again, the, the two kits that are that have been uh, put online uh, uh, and they are available in all languages. Uh, I, by the way, I, I, I omitted one important element that will be uh, in order to facilitate the liberations uh, and to be truly European exercise, the, the platform is the first ever platform uh, which is authentically multilingual, which means that every post that you uh, that, that you put on the platform every idea that you share every event that you that you register are automatically translated into uh, the other 23 official languages of the EU so this is already uh, something very important and allows of course uh, to as many people as possible to to uh, to collect the knowledge, to 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 get uh, to get familiar also with uh, the ideas, even even without knowing the language, without speaking the language, and to in, to, to engage in a debate. Uh, from time to time, it's important because from time to time, when we uh, hear or when we read about uh, the lack of political dimension of Europe, uh, one of the obstacles is, that, and it is uh, uh, rightly so. Uh, acknowledged as, 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 as an important one is the lack of common language, but the platform uh, tries to, to, uh, to overcome this obstacle through, uh, with, with the help of, uh, of the IT system. So uh, the other two kits are available in all the, 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 the 24 official languages. And one of the, the two kits in particular, the one for event organizers has really a, a, a section with good examples of how of what kind of events you you might consider uh, they are really uh, very simple guidelines it is we are not obliged of course to follow them but they, they give you concrete examples of how uh, to uh, to engage with uh, with with citizens how to to organize your events how to take into account also their uh, their opinions and how to then uh, transform them into into concrete uh, into concrete uh, proposals. There are also formats that are suggested, like for instance, uh, citizen assembly, town hall meeting, uh, uh, particip participatory leadership process, and things like that. But uh, uh, there, the the let's say the the names of those uh, of those formats are uh, uh, may may appear a bit complicated, but uh, the actual the actual organization, the actual uh, steps that you you have to take are, are really simple and, and and very easy to to follow. So this is uh, something that, and of course you, you can also uh, draw inspiration from from the events that are already proposed on the on the platform, and there are many of them, especially on the as I said under the climate and and uh, and the environment section. There are so many uh, regions, so many. So many regions, so many cities that are already organizing their own events, uh, be it uh, a citizen dialogue, be it uh, um, uh, uh, let's say more advanced participatory uh, uh, events and panels that are that are already on the platform and can be can be used as an example. Thank you very much. Um, yes, so again, I invite everyone to, anybody that has a question, to write it down or raise its hand. That's really uh, the opportunity to, to ask them uh, now, like live. Um, otherwise, if nothing comes immediately, thank you, Jose. And of course, Jose, if you have anything to add on your comment, uh, take the floor or let us know. Um, while we wait for other uh, contributions to come, maybe uh, I can have a second question, Angel, uh, because you said, of course, that um, so there are already some events that are proposed and suggested, uh, and also by by local and regional governments uh, that can be an inspiration 
uh, for the Covenant community to see what, what's happening around Europe, which kind of events are being organized and with which methodologies. I'm wondering if you are also receiving ideas that are shared by local and regional governments already in the multilingual platform. Uh, and if there is something that it's, it's already happening uh, and that can be also inspiring then for the, for the Covenant community to look at. Absolutely, we're receiving uh, already. By the way, uh, I didn't show to you, but if you go on the uh, on the uh, on the homepage of the uh, of the platform, uh, on the at the very uh, bottom of the of uh, the page, you will see what is happening at the conference. So the uh, during well, basically, you have the the most updated information on the number of events, uh, number of uh, I'm showing it to you right now number of participants uh, the topics are of course the same uh, always uh, number of ideas sh shared number of comments events organized and endorsements uh, of the of the ideas short sh sh uh, shared and uh, uh, in, in, if you want to see what the uh, what the, the latest uh, has been for instance uh, the the latest idea under the um the climate and, and uh, environment section, uh, then you, you can see that uh, uh, these are uh, published and immediately visible. These come from from uh, uh, from c uh, citizens, but for instance, this one is, is already a youth forum which was organized in the region of uh, Bavaria, and it's on uh, how to link uh, digital and, uh, and green transitions uh then uh, what else what else uh introduce the eu wide price on, on carbon uh so you can see uh, very very different ones in order to when when the the, the, the language is uh, uh is not uh, uh let's say the immediately the one that you understand you can open and then uh translate the text uh directly through the through the system and see, so it's uh, compulsory compensatory areas measures in the case of soil sealing through new construction. Uh, so uh, as you see, there are so many, so many ideas that are already, that have already been posted. And you can see also, you can follow them. You can follow the um, uh, certain, uh, certain topics. You can uh, uh, personalize your, your account. Uh, so you can uh, follow the uh, the topics. You can follow also uh, other participants uh, if you are particularly interested in uh, in what they they say. But what is also um, what also is uh, another feature uh, important feature of the platform is that uh, once that you propose something, the platform immediately checks and identifies if there have been similar ideas shared already on the platform and uh, show them to you and connect you with uh, with those that uh, that have uh, come up with this idea and this could be also a good way to to join forces and to uh, to let's say continue uh, the discussion uh, let's say on on more on on the shared ground so this is something uh, which is automatically done by the platform once when when you create your own idea Thank you very much. Yeah, I think this, uh, especially the automatic translation, it's uh, it's a great feature to have. Uh, it's really like one of the main barriers. Huh? We also see it in the Covenant. We try to be uh, to have more and more decentralized events in different languages, of course, to to make sure that everybody can contribute. But it's not always so easy. And also this uh, this feature that puts um, persons that share the same interests or the same ideas in contact. It's uh, well done on this platform. Um, I don't see any comments, so maybe I can ask a question to our participants. Uh, after seeing this presentation of the platform, do you think you will engage uh, with an event or with sharing some ideas? And if so, do you already have something in mind on how you want to engage in the, in the process of the conference in the future of Europe? Is it something that you have been discussing uh, already in your seat administration? So maybe that's coming from, uh, from this session. Let us know in the chat if you, if you have any thoughts. Um, and then maybe I have another question for you, Angul, because you said, so we spoke about sharing events, sharing ideas, 
Uh, but I guess the platform will also be a place where uh, cities can share feedback on, for example, EU legislation uh, that is difficult to implement for them because, you know, there are many competencies of cities that are, of course, uh, I mean, of course, linked to the covenant, but also to many other areas of, of interest for the conference. So is it also a place where they can really provide feedback on uh, the challenges in implementing some, some key EU legislation? That's that's uh, precisely what uh, the conference is about. It's uh, about improving our our way of living together and uh, do doing it uh, into the most uh, uh, effective and efficient way. With it includes includes also uh, sharing the, the 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 past experience or the the observations or the comments we might one might have on uh, on the way that the EU rules are applied and how can uh, how they can uh, they can be improved. Uh, one important element. Uh, this this brings me to to underline one one important element. Uh, it is not about necessarily about treaty changes. I said that it's uh, nothing is is precluded. Nothing is uh, is uh, predetermined in the outcome. But uh, do not consider that the, the the conference on the future of Europe is only uh, exclusively about treaty changes and how to uh, change the. The rule of uh, um, uh, I don't know um, uh, qualified majority. Where does it apply? How the, the institutions are uh, interact uh, among themselves? It is also, and it is uh, in, in in let's say in um, uh, mostly about what and how you could see or where you will see the uh, the EU. Uh, added value in terms of uh, new uh, ideas, new uh, policy actions, but also uh, modifying, improving, and innovating what uh, it is it already does. So, in the case of health, for instance, this is a very hot debate due to the to the pandemic, and uh, you can expect that people come up with uh, also ideas about new. Uh, competences, new institutions, new new powers for the for the institutions, or uh, the importance of of cross border cross border uh, um, uh, let's say health uh, health uh, uh, systems. But in the in the case of uh, climate uh, and environment in particular, where we already have quite a lot of uh, instruments in place, quite a lot of. Uh, also uh, very very rich uh, legislation it is currently also being as you know uh, revised the, there is the place also to to come up with ideas of how this could be uh, eventually improved if there are any any issues uh, uh, down the down the road uh, of course uh, the implementation okay thank you very much i see uh, mr Dar yes i also see your hand so please take the floor We cannot hear you. I see that you are unmuted, but uh, we cannot hear you. No. Maybe you can try to click on the three dots in the panel above and click on device setting and then select your microphone. It should work. Let's see. It is uh, still not working. Maybe you can try to leave the meeting and then come back in. We always have the same challenges in all online meetings. It's uh, it's unavoidable. OK, so maybe yes, let us know if you can or select your microphone or uh, leave and then join back. Thank you. And in the meantime, we can take the comment from Tatiana Gomez in the chat. Uh, from Gran Canaria, who is a coordinator of the Covenant of Mayors. Uh, so, Tatiana, I, I will read your comment, but if you want to come in, uh, of course, uh, please do. So she said that she finds the platform very interesting because it's a good way to know um, what is the Europe that we want to see, and we can learn a lot from it. Uh, and she will engage. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. It is important to share this kind of information to everyone, especially young people who are more conscious of the environment. Yes, that's... Uh, 
that's a very relevant comment indeed, and uh, and that's also something that I mean, not only of course in the conference, which is a wider process, but also in the covenant with this new commitment, we we want to try to foster even more uh, with the engagement of eco creation with uh, with citizens and communities. So thank you for sharing this. Okay, maybe we can try again with the microphone. Now. No, still not working. Got it, Pity. I'm sorry. Do you want to write your comment in the chat? Okay. Thank you. And I've seen another camera a second ago. I don't know if uh, you wanted to take the floor. Uh, if so, you can just unmute yourself. Otherwise, we still have a few a few minutes. So, of course, after the comment from uh, Mirza Dorin, we can uh, also answer for the questions. So you can maybe that. I can just um, while we were waiting for the for the yes. for the comment in the chat or for the question in the chat. Uh, something that um, comes to, to my mind now that you can uh, either identify yourselves as a, uh, let's say, as, as um, with, with a personal account, so you can create a personal account, but you can also create an account with the name of your uh, organization or your institution. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, uh, for instance, in organizing the event or in posting your comment, you can be identified as both, you can be identified as a as an individual in, in your individual capacity, or you can also be identified as a, as, a, as an institution or organization. So this is also something that you can uh, you can uh, do uh, according to your to your profile. Otherwise, you can always use an individual uh, account and then add uh, events uh, which are organized by by your institution, uh, specifying that in the description. And also the events, the, the sorry, the conclusions that are linked afterwards uh, to the to that event will appear as uh, direct, uh, let's say, result of the event, and therefore uh, are owned are owned by 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 the organizer of the event. In this case, the institution or the local authority you represent. Okay, thank you. Yes, so there could be accounts, for example, for uh, Gran Canaria as covenant coordinator, uh, if Tatiana would like to engage on the platform. Super, thanks for sharing. Um, yes, we are waiting for the question from, um, from Mr. Dorin. In any case, if any of you will have questions that come after this session, uh, of course, uh, also maybe navigating on the platform yourself or re-watching the recording, uh, you're always welcome to, to share them with us. In the, in the slides, you will find the uh, emails, uh, both mine and the one of Angwell, of course and uh, the one of the, uh, the general uh, functional email uh, box of the conference. So there is always uh, room for, for asking more questions and for engaging later on. We are always available and happy to, uh, to guide you through the, to the platform in case you need any more specific information. Thanks. I yeah, I don't see the uh, question coming up. I hope everything it's uh, it's okay with the chat and with the connection. Uh, the regarding the campaign material, no, which is uh, also accessible on the platform, you will see that uh, the, it is uh, uh, available in all languages, and there are plenty of material that can be that can be used, including also uh, visuals to be to be implemented in your own. Uh, visual identity, so in case you want to organize an event and this event uh, will, would appear under the, the auspices of the conference, then you can easily include the, the logo the logo of the conference in it. Can a forum for main ideas be put on the platform? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Uh, well, actually, the platform is a forum in a way. It's, it's a very big forum. Uh, but uh, I don't know what what uh, precisely uh, Mr. Mm. Mr. Dorian has in mind. Um, yes, um, maybe main ideas. Okay, so maybe the ideas that are uh, most voted or most uh, commented, perhaps. Uh, well, that, that is immediately visible if you have a. a 
uh, you can also structure the, the visualization on the platform uh, under the category you are interested in, uh, which in this case is climate and environment. You can structure also, uh, or you can put an order which goes from the most uh, commented on uh, to, the, to the least uh, commented on. And then you can, of course, see immediately what, what is the, uh, what is the um, let's say, the, the current trend uh, in topics. Uh, mm. And then on that basis, we are also preparing, we'll be preparing uh, reports, uh, a certain number of, inter uh, let's say, intermediate reports, which will be delivered uh, down the, 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 let's say, the, uh, during the, the, the implementation of the, uh, during the discussions of the platform, where we would uh, identify the, the main trends and the main topics and how they are addressed. So this is uh, part of the, the feedback mechanism. It is uh, a combination of uh, a bit of artificial intelligence to, let's say, uh, identify, follow the, 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 the big trends, the big tendencies, and of course, Human uh, analysis of the of the main uh, of the main topics and how they are uh, presented and what what is the the level of engagement around them, what is the level of approval or disapproval. Uh, it might well be that uh, that some of the topics uh, lead to a very rich discussion, but it is uh, not entirely in favor of uh, mm. of, the, of the idea proposed. Uh, so all that is visible immediately on the platform but will be also part of the of those uh, reports that are that, that they will that will be uh, delivered and published uh, uh, on the on the uh, on the level of discussion the content of discussion and it will be presented of course to the um, to the to the pa panels and then to the, mm -hmm. to the okay perfect and i guess also these reports will be in all uh, european languages Yes, so for everything will be in uh, all okay. the, we are we are trying to to well we're not trying but we are doing our best to uh, to keep the platform uh, multilingual so everything that is posted on the on the platform is in all languages. Okay, super. Probably Thank not you. immediately. If this is the case of some documents, for instance, they they are first posted in. Or uploaded in uh, in English, but then of course uh, followed by by the by the uh, the translations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, uh, I guess so. For the posts and the events, this is automatic. I'm talking yes, because about. they are posted through your uh, through your form. Okay. Super. That's uh, that's very useful. Um, so we have exceeded our time. Actually, we are. I mean, we are ending exactly on time. So unless there are any uh, very burning questions from our participants. Uh, in the next couple of seconds. Uh, if not, I will uh, really like to thank you, uh, Angle, for participating, for uh, giving us this thorough presentation uh, and for engaging with, uh, I mean, for answering to, to all of our questions. As I said, uh, I'm sorry, I, I hear a background noise, so I would ask the, uh, yes, I will just mute uh, our participant with the microphone open. Very sorry to do this. Uh, so, as we said, we will share the slides with you, we will share the recording of the session, and then there will be other uh, opportunities in this year of engagement to, to continue this discussion. And hopefully we'll see many entries from the Covenant community on the, on the digital platform soon. Uh, so, thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, make your voice heard. Thanks a lot. Thank you also to all the participants for, for staying with us, and we remain available for... Uh, further discussions and questions. Many thanks. Bye. Bye.